Hi guys, I'm sure some of you are wondering how you could stream media from your PC or laptop onto another computer in the house or your iPad or whatever it may be. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's way simpler than you probably think it is. To start off, um, I'm assuming that you guys have uh, your wireless router set up and there's a wireless signal in your house and your computers that you're trying to stream from all are all connected to it and if that's not the case you might want to get that done before we continue because uh, the computers I'm going to be working with are all set up on the wireless network and we're ready to go from here so to begin with uh, like I said make sure you have your wireless uh, connectivity set up and we're gonna go uh, make sure we're all on the same home group to do this you go to your control panel which is start and control panel and then you're gonna go into your network and internet settings now over here you're going to click network and sharing and this is a page which uh, it'll let you um, see which network you're connected to um, and all the basic information about that which we're not really going to worry about until we go over here to choose home group and sharing options now over here uh, it's going to say um, which home group you belong to and by default it's called home group and uh, you're going to want to have your other connect, uh, computers connected to the same home group and over here if you click this it will give you a password here's mine so yeah you just type this password to your other computers that are trying to connect to the home group and you can print this page for your own uses now with um, Windows you could use you could have uh, Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7 all mixed up it shouldn't matter uh, in, uh, for Windows XP you might have to change the home group name because I believe that Windows XP uses work group instead of home group but uh, changing it is not that difficult I'm not going to show that since that's not what we're focusing on in this video so to move further along once we're connected to the home group and the passwords are set and everything and all the computers are set up we're going to go over here to change uh, advanced sharing op uh, settings now over here you're going to want to make sure you're under the home and work tab as opposed to the public tab and over here we're going to have uh, turn on network discovery we're going to turn on file and printer sharing I turn public folder sharing off because uh, I like to choose which folders exactly are going to be shared within the network so we're just going to leave that off you could have it on it's up to you and uh, we're going to skip the uh, media streaming options for now and we're going to continue on to the encryption by default it's set to 128 bit which is perfectly alright and over here you might want to turn uh, password protection on so whoever's accessing your laptop or computer that has the media on it has to type in a password um, leave this uh, allow Windows to manage the home group it's recommended so just leave it the way it is and uh, we can exit out. Make sure you do this for uh, all the computers within the network. You want to make sure this is on mainly and these two are the main priorities because uh, that's how you're going to share the files. Now once you have that set up you're going to go to the file or folder or whatever it is you want to share and you're going to go to it have it highlighted. You could have multiple ones highlighted it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to share this drive. It is my external drive that has all my media on it. So it, every process is going to be the same. doesn't matter if it's a drive, a folder, a file. What you're going to do is you're going to click it and then right click or highlight it and then click right click it. Go to your properties and over here you go to the sharing option. Uh, click advanced sharing and share this folder. Simple as that. You could change the name. I could put uh, uh, media or whatever whatever you want to call it you can hit apply and boom over here number of simultaneous users I like to limit it to three because I have uh, I have two laptops plus my PC using it so that would, I don't want more people to hop on the network and have an overload on my computer so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that to three you can go in here and uh, you could have permission set up specific permissions to allow them. usually the default is read which is enough trust me you don't want people messing around with your files if you're the administrator just leave it on read and click OK 
and there you go uh, on the bottom left of your folder or file or whatever it is you're sharing you're gonna see these two little human heads and that means that it is actively sharing now we're gonna cut right here and I'm gonna switch to my laptop okay so now that we um, have the drive being shared within the network remember we call it media we go into the network in the laptop and we click well in my instance this is my desktop so we're gonna click that usually it would prompt you for the username and password of the the computer that you are trying to access so let's say my username was Sako and my password was banana pie I would type the password Sako and banana pie which would be my computer password which is not just using that as an example that being said we called it media so here it is this is the media and boom there we go we have uh, access to the folders in our uh, media drive that we just shared now that being said you can easily do the same for uh, accessing your laptop files from your computer to do this you do the same exact thing you go into your control panel we're gonna go into our network and internet network and sharing center go to our home group and sharing options and over here we're gonna hit the advanced sharing settings same deal here we have the network discovery on the uh, file and printer sharing also on and everything else is pretty much the same as we had it on the desktop now the same thing applies you go to whatever folder or file you want to share highlight it right click go to properties sharing and well this one's already shared but there it is now to prove that it is in fact being shared keep in mind that this one is called my uh, owner PC and the de Saco PC is my desktop so I'm gonna go back to my desktop and show that you can in fact share between the two it is not a one-way street so wait one second while I get that done okay so we're back here on the desktop and we are going to go into our network on our PC which is my laptop and there are the documents that I decided to share now over here I can access all the folders and files that are within the document so if you want certain folders and files to be only shared you might want to uh, go to that specific folder or specific file because if you share a whole folder you will share the subfolders within it now you can change the permissions for that you, to, do, to do that you go to the folder you are sharing you go to the security tab and these are where you can set the permissions be very very careful I, I cannot emphasize that enough with these permissions because you can in fact lock yourself out you as an administrator could lock yourself out and it is very tedious to get uh, permissions back um, their worst case scenario you would have to copy all the information from the drive or folder or whatever you locked yourself out of and you would have to delete the drive completely which uh, happened to me almost I did at one point in time manage to lock myself out of a whole drive and to get permissions back I, lucky luckily for me I didn't have to format the drive but over here you would have to go to edit the permissions and over here you could do read write execute and um, all that specific stuff um, by default everything is full control except for the sharing which is read only so like I said be very careful with the permissions uh, usually people leave it at default but if there are specific files that are have sensitive information on it you can do read only or uh, write only or whatever you guys prefer so that being said if you have any questions please uh, provide them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them um, I hope this helped setting up a home network that you can also set up a home printer which I'm not going to go into detail about because uh, it's just it's a whole different process in itself it's very simple it's not difficult at all so like I said if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them thanks for watching guys